this is one from the choke. Right here, what is this, a guillotine? Standing guillotine. Standing, standing guillotine. So from here, he puts on the pressure, and I'm getting choked. I want to reach in, lock this down right into here. So now when he puts on that pressure, it's a lot harder for him. Okay. If he's a big guy, I would swing this arm over the top right here. Now when he tries to really throw in those hooks, he can pick me right up in the air. I'm fine. I'll still be able to breathe. Once he lets me down, or if he brought up, I'll grab right for the nuts. That's going to make him drop me. From here, you have the kneecap. Now hold on one second. Bring the camera over. You make an X on the knee. Obviously, that's a hyperextension. Now, if I want to buckle in, say for kicks, that would bring him out. This would bring him that way. Same on that side for like knees and strikes. But I'm going for that inner side of the thigh, right in there, buckling that out. So when he has me into here, this is locked in. I'm striking. Boom. I went to the groin first, then one, two. Step out, then behind. Right from here. Now, if I'm a small guy, I'm fighting a giant. I twist and punch down. That brings him down to me, okay? Swing this around. Now from here, I would pull and break that arm. Then I'm snucked in right here. Now you have your chokes into here, or I'm in. Step down, right into here, and drive forward. Very good. Right. So the whole thing together. I'm in, locked in, groin, punch, punch, one. Two, back, hook, break the arm, hook in, down, step back, and in. I'm not keeping him based here. He can fight from here. Yes, he can try to get the ground. Yes, try to come up. I'm putting him in a rocking chair situation, fighting for that ground. Meanwhile, I'm choking, driving that in. It's like I'm here, and I'm leaning in on him, compressing that neck. Okay.